We'll soon dive into texturing, but there's a prior optional step we should cover before, baking. You have the possibility to use details from the geometry to generate or enhance material details. You can figure those out by looking at your geometry. The edges that stick out are more likely to get scratched, hidden parts and crevices are more likely to collect dirt, and the areas that face up might get discolored by the sun. But instead of finding and painting them all by hand, you can calculate that information. This step is called baking. This technique means you'll need to prepare a bit more. It involves creating a high poly mesh with lots of details or smoother curves, as well as a simple low poly mesh that has efficient, unique UVs. If done properly, the low poly is indistinguishable from the high poly. This technique, called high poly baking or baking from a mesh, is very common when fast 3D performance is most important, like in video games. When baking, the results are not just one simple bitmap texture, there are at least a dozen different types of bakes. The most common ones are curvature, ambient inclusion, normal maps, and world space maps. Curvature maps come from an algorithm that determines which edges and corners of your mesh stick outwards and which go inwards. The result is flat gray for flat areas, white for outward areas, and black for inward ones. You'll find programs that make good use of this information to help you add edge wear, dirt, and other kinds of localized detail. Another useful bake is ambient occlusion. The algorithm calculates which parts of your geometry are more likely to be reached by bright, uniform light. Think of it like the kind of shadows you'd see on a cloudy day. Ambient occlusion helps you to add dirt in some places or even just add a creative touch when making more stylized 3D projects. Baking normals usually means tension space normals, a type of bake that transforms the look of the surface of your mesh. It's only used when transferring details from high poly to low poly. Normals are the data that represents the direction your mesh's surface is facing. The baking algorithm compares the surface normals between two meshes and stores the difference in a texture. Using a normal map is a trick to make a low poly mesh look much more detailed than it really is. Video games and other realistic interactive 3D projects make good use of this. Baking world space data helps your texturing program understand your 3D geometry. Even though you can easily see which parts of your mesh are facing up or down and which part is left or right, that info isn't available for texturing applications unless you bake it. World Space Bakes store the position and normal direction of your mesh in two individual maps. They let you automatically generate things like a gradient that fades from the top to the bottom, run a stripe from the front to the back, or fade colors out when they face in a certain direction. Without these world space bakes, you'd have to paint all of those manually. Baking can be done externally in major 3D packages, but some texturing applications make the process as seamless as possible by letting you bake right inside the application. That way, your bakes are tightly integrated and immediately usable when you start the texturing process.